From the studios at WBONTV.com, here's what's happening. If you hear the Westminster chimes today, don't worry, it's only a drill. Personnel from the Bluegrass Chemical Activity and First Responders, along with Madison County, St. Joseph, and Bluegrass Chemical Agent Destruction Pilot Plant, will take part in today's exercise. A McKee man was recently arrested and charged with second-degree rape after he allegedly admitted to police he attempted to have a sexual relationship with a 13-year-old. Marissa Hempel reports. According to Bria Police, 19-year-old Michael Granillo had been reported to authorities by the juvenile victim. The citation details that Granillo was brought in for questioning with the Bria Police Department, and he then admitted that he had met the victim in his vehicle on Reed Hill in Berea. Granillo continued saying that he engaged in sexual intercourse with the victim in a car at the church. He was lodged in the Madison County Detention Center and charged with secondary rape with no force. I'm Marissa Hempel. With the continued rain, the National Weather Service has issued a flash flood watch from now through Thursday. Rain, heavy at times, will continue till Thursday evening. Residents living in low-lying areas or near creeks and rivers should use caution and stay aware of their surroundings. The Berea City Council met last night and approved a new 2019-2020 budget. Lance Gaither reports. The Berea City Council has passed its 2019-2020 budget. The council voted to approve the amendment proposed by Councilor Jerry Little to reduce spending on advertising from 379000 to 300000 annually. Another amendment to cut the Human Rights Commission budget was passed after being proposed by Councilor Jim Davis. He stated his reasoning for the cut was that they haven't been fulfilling requirements put forth by the council. With WBONTV.com, I'm Lance Gaither. For more stories like these, tune to WBONTV.com. I'm Ron Likens.